I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Okay, so we have a new steel range at the uh, gun club here where I belong to, and uh, I thought I'd share with you today shooting steel. We'll park right next to the sidewalk here, and I brought something to prop open the door so I can get my all my camera equipment in there. So, so yeah, um, it costs extra to belong here. It costs twenty five dollars extra a year. got um, as we're looking at it right now the uh, the right side is for pistol and then the left side is for rifle prop the door open so we don't have to you actually have to scan your car to get in the door here too so and I'll show you the inside here Okay, and then we gotta we gotta sign in too. So, all right. So here we are. So this is the pistol side down here, and then this is the rifle side here. And we'll, we'll get her put ourselves up against the wall here. Now. This range actually just opened up here, um, I would say probably three months ago uh, at the time this video is being made. And, but it's the first uh, steel range for this gun club here that I belong to. And um, they've done a terrific job making everything safe. And um, as you notice, we have the rifle side opened up and uh, we're allowed to shoot 223, 556. And I think the other one is 300, 300 blackout um, on the rules over there. But eventually they might even have like AK-47 that you'll be able to shoot here. But I brought some, uh, some toys along today to, to shoot for us. And um, I brought the Colt LE6940 uh, M4 lookalike. It's essentially the same thing internally as the uh, AR-15. Um, they just shorten the barrel um, to 16 inches on this, so it looks like a M4 carbine. It doesn't have select fire, though. And also, I brought the Colt SP-1. Uh, that's a 1968, so we'll have fun shooting that. That's 223. Um, but we'll shoot 5.56 five, out of the uh, LE-6940 here. So anyway. I wanted to go over a little bit about um, if you've never shot steel before, you might be thinking, wow, you know, I don't know if I want to take the risk of shooting steel. But if you think about it, we take a risk every time we get in our automobile and, and drive somewhere. So it, it's pretty much no different than that. Um, they've gone to great lengths, like I said, about making sure everything is safe here. Um, you know, so let's go over the steel. Now here down here at the rifle side, we have AR-500 steel. So what that basically means, it's this hardened steel. And if you notice behind me, a lot of them will swing out. And that's where, you know, you don't want steel sitting on a pedestal, at least close to you anyway. Um, because the pedestal is what sometimes, you know, makes that ricochet come back to you. But if you have a target that actually swings away, the, the fragments or the shrapnel from the bullet is actually directed downwards than if the target swings, okay? So they've done, they've done a miraculous job um, coming up with safety precautions here. And, and um, like I said, with the GoPro on today, um, when I walked in here with you, uh, they don't allow guests right now with the members. And the members have to pay an additional $25 a year to use the steel range too because they put a lot of money. It's not cheap by any means to make a steel range and to make it you know, completely safe as possible anyway. But this whole area is all enclosed here. And then once you get inside the door, as you saw earlier, um, 
we have to sign in, okay? And I don't know what, there's a time limit, um, you know, if it's really busy, but you know, today it's during the week and there's not a lot of people here. So we, we've got the range to ourselves this morning. And you have to wait till eight o'clock to shoot and time I got everything set up, you know, here it is going on 9 a.m. But, um, but anyway, I'm glad that you are able to join me and, and watch this. And, you know, it, you know, maybe you've watched a lot of videos before here and you've seen people shoot steel before, so it's not a big deal. But this, if this is the first time um, watching this, um, you'll get to, you know, see what it's all about. But anyway, we'll probably start out shooting the SP-1 here. And um, now what I would recommend, um, I brought two pieces of uh, ear protection here. And I like to double up with these foam ones here. Um, so I will wear the foam underneath the, the walkers here. Now these are, these are so you can, these are for like, these are nice for action shoots. Um, they have a volume control, so they have, um, you know, you can actually hook up, there's a little thing here, you can actually plug in your iPod and listen to music if you want to, but these are nice for action shoots because you can hear instructions and the microphones are in front here. Now I'll probably turn them around because um, I've done some modifications here. I didn't do any modifications to the, uh, the SP-1 Colt. Um, I wanted that to stay original and let's just go ahead and look at it real quick now I've done I've done one video here on the channel with the Colt SP-1 here So this gun is a 1968 and this does not have a forward assist on it And this is the way the Air Force wanted these in fact when the Air Force put their order in um, for these rifles they they Specifically said they didn't want the forward assist. Okay, so this is exactly the way the Air Force wanted them. Okay, so but anyway, in, in the first video that I do that I did here on the channel, you can watch that, and I go over the specs of this gun. Um, so anyway, um, we'll be shooting this today with iron sights. So I brought a, a sandbag with me too, just in case um, I'm not doing too good offhand here. It looks like about 25 yards for us here. And then we got the Colt LE6940 M4 lookalike. And like I said, this, is, this does not have select fire. Um, and um, it's just a, internally, it's the same thing as an AR-15. So I did put a red dot in, it's all zeroed in. And in fact, you'll wanna to subscribe to the channel um, right now if you haven't already subscribed because I'll be doing an action shoot with this particular uh, rifle coming up in a few days. So um, you'll want to you'll wanna see that. Now, I've made some modifications. I, like I said, I put on a red dot scope. And also, I, I would like to change the, um, the spring out back here, the buffer spring, to a silent capture spring, but I haven't done that yet. But I did put on an Apollo Max aggressive muzzle brake. And I brought special goggles and this is what I recommend is something that has a seal around because a couple cons of the uh, muzzle brake the aggressive ones are the blowback comes right back to the shooter and also the noise it's really loud these are loud rifles anyway but they act, the sound the the noise comes back to the shooter and also you get a little blowback too in fact, I was wearing these glasses one day during a, a video that I was shooting for you. And uh, I felt something go in my eye with these glasses on. So I quickly went to these safety goggles. And, uh, but uh, these I also ride my Harley with too. So, um, but anyway, they form fit around your face. They seal it up so you don't get anything underneath like you would with these glasses here. So those are the modifications I made to this gun. Otherwise, I left the triggers alone on both guns. Uh, the, M, the M4 here, or the, or the uh, look-alike M4, um, uh, it, I have the same trigger on there. I didn't change the trigger out, so it's about a seven pound trigger pull, and that's the way Colt wanted them for a duty rifle. Um, and also I'm not using it really for like three gun competition or anything like that. And, and um, it's not really a pleasure gun, even though I'll be using it for, for an action shoot. 
um, it's more of a home protection rifle. And um, so this was actually um, by my bed. But um, so I didn't, I didn't mess with the trigger. Um, I'm not going to with this rifle. Um, I might, you know, down the road, maybe I have a 308 Armor Light AR-10 that I might change out the trigger on that. But I don't know, it has a Timney trigger on it now. And, and uh, I haven't shot it a lot and I'd like to, you know, still experiment with that Timney trigger. It's a single stage. So that, that might be okay. But if I was going to go to a faster trigger for this LE 6940, I would go with the uh, Geisley SD3G uh, trigger. Uh, it's very responsive. But, but anyway, um, I'm real excited uh, to uh, present this video to you and have you join me. Uh, shooting the steel targets. Um, I think uh, we'll both learn something today. I, I continue to learn and and, uh, and I know you do too by watching these videos. And another thing I would suggest doing, if you haven't fired your um, firearms for a while, I like to get a bore light and I use these for cleaning too to make sure I have the barrel clean. But it's always a good idea to clear the rifle, you know, at the range, clear it you know, we, we got a safety flag here, and these are really long, so you can stick them in there so we know we're clear. But anyway, I'd like to take the, the light and look in here, make sure that we don't have any cartridges in there, and then I like to look down the barrel, make sure there's no obstructions in the barrel. All right. It's really clean. All right, so that one's clear. down in there and nice and shiny and clean all right so these are ready to go let's go ahead again I'm gonna if I'm not having to lift some two instructions I face the microphones here behind me because like I said these guns get pretty loud I will turn these up a little bit here and uh, that way I can hear myself talk to you all right so Let's go ahead and shoot the Colt SP-1. Now this is America's favorite rifle for sure here. And let's uh, load up the uh, 223 here. We got some Federal here. And these are 62 green. Now let's see how we do offhand first here. go and let's shoot these uh, I'll zoom in but uh, there's a brown silhouette on the left and a brown one on the right there's a white one um, in the background on the hill kind of there but before we go to those orange plates let's see if we can hit those silhouettes first of all Okay, we're in the safe mode here, and we're ready to go to the fire mode. Here we go. Well, let's shoot, uh, let's shoot that white one back there on the hill. Try the orange plates. I don't know what happened to it. Try that white target in the back. Okay. Let's 
let's try that brown silhouette target on the back or to the right yep I heard a hit we're out All right, let's hit that brown silhouette there on the left. Right. The white one on the hill there. Shall we hit the, uh, the orange, orange targets there? Let's try it. The one on the far right. Hit the brown silhouette. The white target back there. Hit it. Let's try that orange plate again on the far right. How about that white hanging plate? That's a pretty big plate. Let's hit that. Hit it. The white target back there. Hit it again. All right, now with these red dots to save on the batteries, I almost forgot, as you could see. Turn it back to zero so it doesn't run your battery down. But uh, all right, that's the Colt LE 6940. And with these foam fitting goggles on and with this uh, aggressive muzzle brake, I don't feel any, I can feel it on my face, the blowback. You know, and that's that's just one of the sacrifices you have to deal with when you put an aggressive muzzle brake on. But what's the advantage? The advantage is it shoots flat, and it's less recoil, a little bit less recoil. The caption spring, the silent caption spring, is going to really dampen that recoil if you put one of those on there. But you know, it it shoots flat, and it doesn't swing to the right real quick. safe mode all right let's shoot the uh, that white hanging looks like a plate round looks like about 12 inches round let's go ahead and shoot that all right. as easy let's go to that white silhouette standing up beside it hit that how about that one right behind on the hill that white one let's go back to that white plate I'm gonna hit the, the smaller plate to the right Silhouette. White plate again. Well, let's try the white silhouette next to it again. Out. Five, five, six. And then I always turn it back to safe mode. 
uh, until I get set here. All right. So let's try that that smaller plate in the middle there. Oop. Safe mode. Turn it back. Red dot back on. There we go. I'll try the white silhouette standing up there. Plate. Big plate. The white silhouette standing up there. white plate next to it yeah. all right put it on safe mode until we're ready to go let's shoot that middle white plate hanging there all right here we go hitting it so let's try the white plate up there on the hill uh, I'm not sure where that hit let's go to that brown silhouette Make it a little bit higher for me. Let's go try that white plate. All right, the white plate on the hill, on the post. Try it again. Try that white silhouette there behind that plate. Let's hit that big white plate to the left. Hit it. So you might be thinking, am I getting any shrapnel back at me? No, I haven't felt anything. Not knock on wood. Like I said, when they're when they're a swinging target, it's all directed down towards the ground. Let's hit that middle, that big plate down there at the bot, at the left. All right, here we go. Let's go to that white plate on the hill again. Let's go to that silhouette in the middle of the plates. about that white plate, that middle one. Let's try it again. Hit it again. Let's go to those other two by themselves over there to the right. Hit it. Little one to the left. 
hit hit that one too oh we're out that was a fast 10. hey i appreciate you joining me today um, let me turn off my red dot here and make sure i don't run the battery down there we go it's off now but anyway i appreciate you joining me today i hope you enjoyed the steel range with me and uh, make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me your experience about shooting and um, you know tell me about your experience of shooting at the steel ranges and uh, what you like to shoot there and and you know just make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video it helps me out for sure and um, share this with your friends and, and uh, but I'll do another video uh, shooting the uh, some handguns and down at the other side here when we have more time and uh, but uh, thanks again and I appreciate it <laughs>